All right, guys, today we're gonna give you a few tips for beginning jugglers. The most important quality for beginning jugglers is persistence. You may not improve every time you juggle, but if you keep practicing regularly for several weeks and months, your skills will greatly expand. Try for new records, but be patient when they don't come right away. Every time you practice juggling, you grow muscles in your legs and cells in your brain that improve your skills. With regular practice, you will gradually become the excellent juggler you always wanted to be. Use your hands when you are first learning to juggle. Start by using your hands between each touch. Then gradually increase the number of touches until you feel comfortable juggling without using your hands as support. Like training wheels on a bike, using your hands can help you learn faster by enabling you to maintain more control during the early stages of juggling. One of the keys to successful juggling is using both feet in combination to control the ball. Skillful jugglers develop a rhythm, moving the ball frequently between both feet. It's important that you begin working with both feet right away, juggling the ball between them as often as you can. One of the most difficult challenges for beginning jugglers is keeping the ball from getting away from them. To help solve this problem, Drop the ball with a slight backspin and try to maintain the spin as you juggle. You will find that backspin keeps the ball coming back to you rather than getting away. As your skills improve, backspin will become a less important part of juggling. More advanced jugglers can use their toes to keep the ball up with no spin and greater precision. Juggling is far easier and more effective when both feet are involved. To help your weak foot become a full partner with your strong foot, spend some time improving your weak foot separately. Try to set new records using only your weak foot. Even if the number of touches is small, if your weak foot can juggle the ball at least five times, it should be strong enough to alternate with your other foot and improve your overall juggling. With consistent practice, you'll be ready to go hands-free. When you're ready, practice juggling without using your hands by rolling the ball up your foot and into the air. Place one foot on top of the ball, quickly rolling it backwards and flicking the ball into the air. As you become comfortable juggling with your lower body, your next step is to master ball control with your upper body. In future videos, we'll show training methods for upper body control, tricks, and game-related juggling skills. All right, guys, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below along with a comment with anything you'd like to see us do. Also, don't forget to subscribe and to follow All Attack on social media.